going to see loops. Now this is again a type of a condition, but the difference between if and if condition and for and while loops are that when a condition is satisfied in if, it will come out of the condition. Say we saw that when I ran the age code, as soon as this condition was satisfied, it came out. Right? But I cannot do this. Stay in the loop till the condition is satisfied. I cannot do this here in my conditions. If I say, if I give a value A is equal to say, I don't have this. Okay, I don't have this else loop and if I give a, a value of A is greater than 80, it will come here, This it will execute this else if, if this condition is not satisfied, it will come out of the loop, do, doesn't do anything. But I want it to keep checking till A is equal to 85. I cannot do that here because it will, once the condition is satisfied, it will close the loop. So now, if I have to do, do to stay in the loop till the condition is satisfied, how do I do that? I need to, I have two things I can do. One, I can use a while loop while when loop or a or for next loop so these are two things that we are going to learn while uh, while when uh, like how we wrote if and end if while when that is while when stands for w stands for while and end of while end is end for next so these are the two loops that we are going to learn which we will continuously keep in Till we, uh, till our condition is satisfied. So let's do while first. I'm going to say a equal to one, and I'll say while a is greater than or sorry less than or equal to ten. MSG box a. And I'll say a is equal to a plus 1. What does this mean? Uh, it says first print 1, and then it says take the value of a as 1 plus 1. That gives 2. Okay. And then uh, it keeps going. I think it will print until it's uh, 10, 1 to 10. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Since I spoke to you yesterday and I explained this, you are able to explain <laughs> this. So I need not give you the two points, right? We were talking about... No, Rajesh, you right? just told me. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the... Long time I have not put minus one for anyone yet. I feel very bad. So where is... You know, Okay, okay. So fine. Now, what Ida said is perfectly correct. Now, what happens here? Let me explain this code. What I'm going to do here is, what I'm doing here, I'm first declaring the value of A is equal to 1. Right. Now, here I'm saying while a is less than or equal to 10. So I am saying do the condition till A is less than or equal to 10. So what the while do loop will do? Once the this condition, first will come and check the condition. Is A is less than or equal to 10? Is 1 less than or equal to 10? Yes. So this condition is true now. Now it will go into this loop. Now once it went into this loop, it sees that message A, so it will print 1. Now, next what I am saying, I am saying A equal to A plus 1. Why do we do this? Why do we do this? We did not do this here, but why do we do this here? 
because I have to increment the value of A so that this condition at one point will become false. So how do I increment the value of A? I will say A equal to A plus 1. That means when, it, when I have declared first A as 1, so it will come in A is 1 plus 1. So now A equal to B, 2. You will see when. So that means it is coming to the end. But this condition is still true. So it will go back to the Y. Check for the condition. Now what is the value of A? 2. 2. Value of A is 2. Now, if is A less than or equal to 2, then? Yes. True. So, the value is still, this condition is still true? Yes. It will go in. Next, what will be the value of A now? A is equal three. to 3. It will come to the end, but the condition is still true, so it will go up again. 4. So, it will print A equal to 4. So, it will go three. till three. A equal to 10. Now, three. when A is equal to 10, is this condition true? Yes. So, it is still true, it will go inside. Yep. Okay, now what is the value of A? 11. A is equal to 11. You will see the value, it will come back again here. Is A greater than or less than or equal to 10? No. No, so the condition is false, it will come out of it. Okay. So it will stay inside this loop till this condition is satisfied. satisfied. But here it is not like that. Once, one time the condition is satisfied, it will come out of the loop. That's the difference between while and if. You're getting me? Yes. Execute this code. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run this now. Let me do one more thing. I'll put a message box A here. But uh, it won't print 11. That's why. Yeah, okay, fine. No, no, it doesn't work. Ah. So let me run from this point. I'm going to put a breakpoint here. Run. Now you see here value of A. Can you see here the value of A is 1? Okay, that's because that's what we assigned it here. Now I'm going to go into the loop. It's gone into the loop. Printed 1. Now the value of A is incremented to 2. Can you see this, guys? Can you see here? You can see here the value of A is 2 now. Let's run that. Keep looking at that. The value of A will become 3 now. See? It's still in the loop. 4. It became 4. See now the value of A is 10. You see still it will go into the loop. See it went into the loop. Now since it incremented the value of A and made it as 11, now it came out of the loop. Guys? Yeah, so we can't use the other function such as L. L no, no, that's a, else, else if all is for uh, this one. Condition. Okay. You can't put a condition inside a while loop. It doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. No, it doesn't work like that. No, you, uh, what do you mean to say if you want to put a condition inside this? Mm -hmm. oh, I can put a condition inside this, right? You mean to say you want to put an if loop inside this? No, oh, sorry, if. Huh? Mm -hmm. It will work, yeah. no? If A oh, okay. is equal to 5. So we can bring that all the, you know, the... Whole thing inside this. Now what will happen? Yeah. Now what will happen? If I A is equal to 5, mm -hmm. I'll say MSD box um, A. I'll just say A. Okay. Now you'll, you'll get this pop-up only when A is equal to 5. Now A is equal to 1, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'll remove this. Let me run this. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can put. That's not a problem at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the A value of A is C. Oh, okay. Only when A is equal to 5, five it, pops. it pops up. See? Okay. Other than that, it didn't see. Nothing. See, it's he's skipping that condition only. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So you can mix and match. Nothing to worry on that. Oh, okay. Was this, this is what you asked me? 
Yeah, that's what like, my question was. Yes, yes. So I wanted point. to know because, you know, if they can connect both uh, the loop and the condition. Correct. In what will happen is, it will stay in this loop only. Mm -hmm. Only when the condition inside the loop is satisfied, it will go into that condition. That's all. Yeah, yeah. And does it stop there or it will still go on? No, what will happen, it will come out of this condition, but you are still inside the loop, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. You saw that, right? It printed 5 and then it, yeah, it kept 20. So let's do this. Let me show you one more way. See this message box, what happens? The whole script stops. I have to click on the OK button, right? I'll show you one more function called print. Oh, yeah, print I So print, what will happen is, it will open a uh, pop-up window. And it will run in the back end, but it will not disturb your... This one. So I'll say print. Mm -hmm. But rest all is the same. Print. So what happens if you put that print? Event. Okay. No change in the uh, way it is written. The only thing instead of message box, I put print. What will happen when I put a print is that, see, when I had a message box, right, I had a pop up and I have to click on OK. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that. You saw that, right? So if I say MSG box, mm -hmm. now if I execute this, mm -hmm. this, why do we use a message box? To see whatever values we got is correct or not to validate, right? To see the output. Mm -hmm. Now this will stop. Now if I go after one day and come back, this script mm -hmm. will stop there till I click OK. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, that's a pain, right? In an automation, I don't want a human intervention there, but I want to see what all values came. Okay. For that, what I'll do, I'll use instead of message box, at the same place, instead of same code, everything is same. Mm -hmm. Instead of message box, I will use print. I'll copy mm -hmm. the same thing and I'll put it here and say print. Mm -hmm. See when I run print. The code will get executed and completed, but you will get a pop-up window. See the code is done. I did I touch anything? But you get a pop-up window like this. And the output here. Getting me? Yeah, but why are you putting the the print at the end of the command, you know, here at the last? Shouldn't it come up? I was just showing you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was showing you. Here you want you're talking about this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What difference it will make? I can put it here or there, wherever it is, no? It's just going to print no, the value. It, it's going to start from 87 and it will end at 94, right? What? If 84? it is in the blue. Yeah. The, yeah, if you start from there, the wine. Mm -hmm. So the command should be inside the... No, no, I was just showing you the difference. Now I put it inside here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay now let's run this. I'll clean this in order to clean the logs. Just go to file, clean all. Mm -hmm. Well, let me run this. Now you see this. The script will keep running. You will get the output here. Uh, okay. I put a breakpoint. Wait, hold on. You see the output? Only on, at 5 it went into the loop and it still continued 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. yeah. Hearing me? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Thank you. So we saw the while loop. Now what is the disadvantage of while loop that they went into for loop? What is the disadvantage? Anyone can try out the disadvantage looking at the code? Does it go into like a never ending loop, Rajesh? It goes. Why? That's uh, the disadvantage. Yes, correct. That's the disadvantage. But why does it go into a never ending loop? Um, I'm not able to explain that. Look at the code and tell me. The answer is in between line number 87 to 94. Values are uh, higher values are assigned. Like if it's like 8 equals or less than 1000, it has to go no, to no, the that, loop. That's, you want that. That's why it's going in, no? You are saying A is equal to 1000, right? That's why it's going into that loop. But I'm talking about infinite loop. It will never stop. Let's see the same code only. 
if I comment this off, what will happen? Let's run this. I'm going to run from here. Run step. Run. So there's no upper limit. It goes on incrementing. You see? The first value is 10. There is no where. If we forget to put the value to add a plus equal to a plus 1, what happens? You see, it's printing only value of uh, a as 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and it's not going outside the loop. See that? So, if you make a mistake in the while loop, printing a equal to a plus 1, if you miss this, this will never come out of the loop. Okay? That is one of the disadvantages of using while. So, in order to overcome that, we have a for loop. So, how do you declare this for loop does exactly the same what the while loop does. But the difference in the way we declare it is the difference between while loop and for loop. Now see, for, now in the for, how do I declare it? I will say, a equal to 1 to what? To a equal to 10. STEP step 1. I will explain what is step 1. Okay? And then I'm going to copy the same thing here. Print it. Now let's run this. I want to clean this up. I'll cancel this. I want to clean this up. You see? Done. We need not increment this. Here there is no need to increment. It is automatically incremented. That's why we write a equal for a, a equal to 1 to 10. That means it considers this for a equal to 1 and a is equal to greater than or less, uh, less than or equal to 10. Is that what we write to, to 10? So it will print till 10. Guys, you are able to understand. Guys, now what is this step? Now step means that how much you want to increment. Say we wrote here a equal to a plus 1. That means we are incrementing by 1. If I put a is equal to a plus 2, that means we are incrementing by 2, right? Similarly, if I don't put the step, it will still work. It will still work because by default it considers as step 1. You need not, if it is only one increment, you need not put step one. But if I want increment by two, I'll say step two. Now let's run this. You'll get two, four, six, eight, and ten. See, one, because a is equal to one, it did one, three, five, seven, and nine. Right. If I put a equal to two, it will print two, four, six, eight, and ten. It's incrementing by two. Guys, you are able to understand this. If I put step 5, it will increment by 5. Guys, you are able to understand this. Yeah. So, you are uh, replacing um, for for one, right? Yes. Why? Because it will not go into an infinite loop. Even though if I don't, this condition has, I am removing two steps. One step mm -hmm. 1 and mm -hmm. step 2 and putting it in a single step. So you will not have, you will not miss this and you will not expect that you will go into an infinite loop. It will not happen in for loop. You getting me? Yeah. So it's more simplified, right? If you yes. use for. Okay. Yes. So we will use more of for than while. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it does the same activity, no? Yeah. yeah. To print in for, let's print Table of you would want to print. Table of what, Rajesh? Like? Multiplication table. Okay, just the four times table. Four times table? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. This is Nana is only doing it. <laughs> okay. So if you want to print a table of four, how am I going to type this here? Say okay, for A equal to, I want it like this. One into four is equal to Sorry, 1 into 4 
is equal to 4. Like that, 2 into 4, 3 into 4. So, my left side should increment and right side should be constant. Karthi, put it You are able to understand, Karthi? Yeah, yeah. Four, uh, 4 is going to be constant and then uh, you have the multi... Uh, okay, 1 is... Rajesh, huh. the left side is going to keep on changing. 1, 2, yes. 3, 4, it's going yes. to go. That will be, uh, that will have some incremental variable. Yes. 4 will be constant always. Constant. You can put it in the print thing. Mm -hmm. And then the answer obviously has to be a variable and it has to take this. Okay. Can you help me out to do that? Using the for? I'll try. Hmm. For A is equal to 1. We're going to start huh. with 1 to 10. Mm-hmm. Step one. Mm -hmm. So, uh, print will have so. Okay, so print is going to have uh, a or asterisk probably or. Can I going to give it like this? No asterisk. Maybe asterisk. So. Uh, does it understand? I mean, it's anyway it's just going to be a print thing, right, Rajesh? Yes. How do you print that? I have to print 1 into 4 is equal to the value. Yeah, so 1 and then uh, uh, quotes maybe because that's not going to change, right? Like this? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. What happened? What did he do? Like this? An asterisk will look better, right? The, okay, okay. Or anything. Okay. Whatever you say. Asterisk. Um, now, 4, right? 4. And then again, asterisk equal to? Why again, asterisk? Um, is equal to sign, Rajesh? Is equal to? Okay. Just like that, it will take I it. don't know. You are telling me the code. This is this I taught you today only. How to print this, I taught you today. Okay. Uh, just ampersand, just to join everything. Where should I put the ampersand? After the uh, quotes for that asterisk, right? So you join four. So I put ampersand here, amber here? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then again, after that, another... Uh, after four, another ampersand for the equal to sign. Is it okay to give everything in one thing, right, Rajesh, instead of joining everything? You can do. Yeah. I want to put everything so, yeah. into this so I can take this out. And yeah. Put it inside this, right? I'm oh, sorry. Take this out and put it inside this. Yeah. So because oh. that value is going to change. Hmm. And yep. uh, is equal to, um, we need another variable for that because that is also going to change, right, Rajesh? The value for the answer. No, I want to print 1 into 4, 2 into 4, 3 into 4, right? Okay, okay. Is equal to 4. Is equal to 4, huh? Let's run this and see what is it. Basic away error. Okay. okay. Let's see what what is the let someone else who else can correct me this. Multiplication formula has to be given, right, Rajesh? Oh, two wait, hold on. Two wait one second, hold on. Two. Oh, what am I saying? Zero. Ah. Okay. Now let's run this. No, that was my mistake of typo. No. But basically, there is an error. Let's see what is the error. You see, this print statement, what you typed is wrong. Okay. So let's see, who else can correct this? Who else can correct this? It should be four uh, into, into quotes. Four into quotes, sir. What are you saying? Here quotes, sir. Uh, Give me the print statement. Is, is equal to uh, A plus one. A plus one. No. No. What are you talking? Okay. You are multiplying, boss. Yeah, A equals to, uh, that is right. After that equal to sign, huh. it should be um, A plus 4. A plus 4. Uh. Are you adding? I am multiplying. Yeah, to give the multiplication. So If you put a plus sign, it will add the final side, no? How do you put, if, so if you want to say 1 into 4, you will say 1 plus 4 equal to 4. Uh. 2 into 4, you, you'll say 2 plus 4 equal to 6, right? It's not 8. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyone else? Who? A. 
equal to a, a. then it takes the value of a as whatever the result is okay. and then it goes back to the for loop and the, uh, and then a will become two there right it's step one how do i print the value over there i have to get at this place i have to get 4 8 12 16 like that mhm mm where are you where are you incrementing you are only printing oh okay okay yeah that's it then that's it mhm mm still there is a basic error in this only oh. we did that in today's class concatenation now where after a after a you have to have a concatenation correct mm -hmm. and then and then a times 4 a times 4 will if i put a times 4 it will just print a times 4 no, right no, no, not there not there here a times 4 4 still there is a problem no still there is a problem um no 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 so after uh, Uh, no, go line by line. Go wait, wait. Should yeah, go so line by line. The four and the equal to should come within the quotes. Do you want me to take this equal to and put it inside this? Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh mm huh -hmm means yes or no? Yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, and then uh, another concatenation string. Oh, concatenation string symbol. Here another. Concatenation. Let me put a space also there. Another concatenation. And then in the next line, a equal to a plus one. Where do you want for 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 oh, for loop? Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's run this. I think this will work. Now let me clean this up. perfect yes. guys you are able to understand this what i did here what i did here i wanted to print 4 1 into 4 is equal to 4 so that's what i did here print 1 is what the variable a concatenate i put an hash trick 4 equal to sign inside the quote so that it will just print whatever i have put here so you see here it printed the variable a that's value of a here hash trick 4 and equal to is constant right so i just printed off that like that only see here that came here and now i put a concatenation and then i said a into 4 so what does a into 4 means 1 into 4 is 4 then a becomes 2 2 into 4 is 8 12 it keeps incrementing like this till a is equal to 10 I'm confused about uh, that step now. How does that step work? Which step? This uh, one? No, no, no. Do you have you have, you have written step step one about that? Yeah, step one is that I'm incrementing by one, right? Okay. So If I put step like one, two, one plus one, two, two, three, four, five. No, 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 no. Instead of putting a equal to a plus one that we did here, right? What did we? Do? What does this line mean? I said. I'm incrementing by one, right? Yes, yes. One plus one is equal to two. Two plus one equal to three. So I'm going one at a time. Yes. If I put two here, what will happen? One plus two is equal to three. Three. Then three two plus two. two is equal to five. Three plus two, yeah, three plus two, five. So it will go one, three, five, seven. It goes like that. Yes. That's what happens here. So if I put two here, let's see when you run. If I put two here and run. I'm going to say a is equal to zero. Okay, let's run this. Let's clean this up. See, first it printed the value of a, then it incremented as two because the step is two. Okay, got it. If I put one here. The next will be instead of two, it will be three. Yes. Three, six, nine, it will go like that. Okay. You getting me? Yes, I got. It. Any other questions, guys? Okay. Now this is what is what we learn in for loop. 